Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before. Today's video, I have this giant Once Upon a Book Club book box, which is the Bridgerton Box Volume 2. So Once Upon a Book Club originally did volume one of this box back in June and July of 2021. That's when we got our boxes. So in that box, we got special editions of the first three books in the series, as well as some gifts that coordinated it to each book where you went to certain pages and then the gift coordinated with what was happening in the book, which was so fun to open. I will insert some pictures here of like the gifts that it came with, which at the time that was the only special editions of Bridgerton books. And so that's why I had grabbed them. So this was the first book, which was The Duke and I, and it is very pretty and pink. And then this one came signed as well from Julia Quinn. Book two, The Viscount Who Loved Me, which is one of my favorite books in the series. This is Anthony and Kate's book. I love how they even got Newton on the cover as well, the little doggy. Book three, An Offer from a Gentleman. This one has a really gorgeous kind of like indigo color book. And it came with this cute teacup as well, which you can see the inside of it. And then it says, ah, gentle reader, this author is pleased to report, dot, 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 has the fun gold. So that was like one of the gifts that you opened in the box. And then one of the gifts as well was actually the fourth book in the series, which I had thought at the time, like, why are they doing a book box of like, volume one only has books one through three, like what is up with this? How are they going to do that? Because there's eight books in the series. And so this book, book four, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton was one of the gifts for book three that you opened. So this is this book. I love the pink. So there's that. So it's now January 2023 when we are finally getting the second book box. Like I mentioned, the first one came in June or July of 2021. And so at the time, that was the only book box or special editions for the Bridgerton set, which is why I got them, which of course, since then, Illumicrate did their gorgeous edition, which wish I would have held out for those, but it is what it is. <laughs> Maybe I'll grab them when they restock. But since I already have the first four in the series, I decided to complete it out and get the second volume as well, just to have a complete set. So I thought it'd be fun to open this up together and kind of show the gifts and show how it's packaged. So I haven't even opened this giant book box yet. It just got to my house last night and was delivered on the porch. I only cut through the tape just so it'd be easier to get the book box open. All right, so I'm gonna be opening this. So when I opened it, it looks like this. There is a letter from Lady Whistledown and some gifts that coordinate with certain pages. So we get this first. It says the Bridgerton Box Volume 2. It comes with a Lady Whistledown, kind of the Society of Papers bookmark. And then I'm guessing... We will open this and find out. So then this is the little pamphlet that comes with it. It says the Bridgerton Box Volume 2 presented by Once Upon a Book Club. And so it shows us the books five through eight that are going to be in this book box, which this time, unlike the first book box that they did, they didn't show us like the covers or any of that beforehand. But this time they did show us all the covers beforehand, like on their Instagram and on their social pages. So then in here, it has some fun social season trivia. How well do you think you know the Bridgerton family? Which some of these are kind of spoilers for the books. So if you haven't read them yet, I'm not going to talk about it because some of them are like plot points for some of the characters of books. But basically, there's some questions about the Pall Mall mallet. There's some questions about what kind of scientist a certain character is out of all the Bridgerton children who's the tallest. What kind of flowers did Simon bring for Violet Bridgerton? And just some specific questions about some of the characters books as well. And then on the second page is how to host the perfect Bridgerton tea party. So there's some fun tea, how to provide the snacks, the sandwiches, the scones, the sweets, and then of course how to serve. And then on the back is a fun little compare and contrast book versus TV show, the differences and the similarities, which is fun. So it came with this super cute Lady Whistledown bookmark like this with a little pink tassel. And it also is signed by Julia Quinn. So that is fun. The first book box came with a bookmark as well, but I don't think that one was signed. And then a fun little quote print from Julia Quinn. I'm going to go through and show you all the books first. And then I will go through the box, figure out which gifts are for which book, and then we will open them together. Book five is to Sir Philip with Love. This is, of course, Eloise's book. And this is the gorgeous teal cover. And then we have that. I love how they're in the greenhouse in here because, of course, Sir Philip is into botany. Book six, this is actually one of my favorites. So this and book two are my favorite books in the series. This is Francesca's story. And this is When He Was Wicked. Love the pale pink they have for this one and love that little library scene. Book seven is It's In His Kiss and this is Hyacinth's book. She is the youngest sister of the Bridgerton family. In book eight, the final book in the series is On the Way to the Wedding and this is Gregory's book. So this is kind of a like light pale peach color. 
All right, so first up is book five, which is to Sir Philip with Love, and then it has two gifts here that coordinate with the book. So we are going to go to the pages that it mentions and open them together. So this one says it goes with page 15, which we will go to that page. So I'm going to go to page 15, read the little part that it is highlighted over and see if I can figure out what the present is before I end. So I'm going to read what it says here. So let's see. So this one says Philip looks down at an envelope in his hand and there's like the feminine handwriting and then he picks up his letter opener. So, so I'm going to guess that this is a letter opener, but we will find out together, which of course in this book, Eloise and Philip, their friendship kind of begins because they are pen pals of sorts together. And that is how their friendship and relationship starts. And it evolves from there with, of course, asking her eventually to come to his house and see if she could be a fit with him and his two children. So we're going to open this together. Here's how it looks on the inside. And so, yeah, it is definitely a letter opener. So then that is definitely a letter opener and it is very, very shiny if you can see here, but that is really fun. It has like some nice heft to it as well, which the packaging on here as well is just so cute and pretty. I love it and how it kind of matches the floral and greenhouse botany that Philip is into. So the next gift for this box is on page 105. So we will go there. So this part, it looks like Eloise and Philip are in his greenhouse together or looking at potted plants. And Philip talks about how he's been experimenting with peas and she's like the kind we eat. And he's like, yes, I'm trying to develop a strain that will grow fatter in the pod. So then she peers down at the pot. Nothing was sprouting yet. He had only planted the seeds a couple of weeks ago. So I'm going to guess that this little box is a planter or something to do with like gardening. So we will find out together. So we will find out and open this cute little present together. <laughs> Sir Philip's Seed Starter Kit. So this smells very earthy. <laughs> So it came with this first and then these instructions as well. So his seed starter kit instructions came with, I'm guessing, some seeds in here. And then it came with these cute little signs as well. So we have carrot, tomato, snap pea, onion, and broccoli, which that'll be kind of super fun to try out with my daughter because she is very into trying to plant things as well. So that'll be fun to start with her. So next up is my favorite, which is When He Was Wicked. This is book six. And then it came with actually three presents for this one. It has this one on page 70. And then these two as well, which are both for, I guess, page 320. So I guess it is like two gifts in one. So we'll find out what these are about. All right, so we're going to go to page 70. So we go to page 70 and we find the open your gift. So this part of the book is talking about Francesca. She had left out of bed in the middle of the night to run downstairs. She is in the library. So it says she hurried downstairs, her heavy wool socks slipping and sliding on the polished steps. So I'm going to guess this has some socks in it. So we'll open this up together. Very crinkly. And yep, it is some cute lady whistle down socks which it has these very cute lady whistle down socks. It has some cute lady whistle down socks, which is really fun. A little quote there and lady whistle down silhouette. So that is fun. I love some themed socks. Then we're going to go to page 320. So this is between her and Michael. I think they're arguing at the time and let's see what it says. It says, you look distressed. He said she wanted to strangle him. He cocked his head and smiled. She wanted to kiss him. He held up the teapot more. So I'm guessing this has to do with a tea set, like a teapot, and we will find out. So we'll open the smaller box first. So this is super cute on here and on the bottom. It says spill the tea. This is like a nice ceramic. And so this is so cute. I love the pink pattern on here that matches the book. And the second box. This is really pretty. This glass, this is gorgeous. Let me be super careful. This is very, very beautiful. It is a nice glass. It has the little tea steeper. Love that. 
and then the cute little lid this is like so cute and delicate i drink tea every single day so this is very adorable and i love it so this is so cute so this is amazing i love this like really fine glass the little cute lid the little steeper portion and like that print on it is just so adorable so this is just super duper cute. It's very clinky and clinky right now because I'm trying to hold it steady. But yeah, that is very, very cute. Next up is book seven, Hyacinth's book. And this is It's In His Kiss. And this one came with two gifts. And so we're going to open those. So first up on page 290. We'll go to page 290 first. So the conversation happening in this one is between Hyacinth and her mother, Violet. And Violet is asking Hyacinth about Gareth, the love interest of this book. So Violet asks Hyacinth, is Mr. St. Clair out of town? Hyacinth says, I don't believe so. Why? And her mother is saying, well, he hasn't called in several days. So then it says, Hyacinth stabbed her needle into the fabric with perhaps a touch more vigor than was necessary. So I'm guessing this has to do with something with like needlepoint or sewing or something like that. So we're going to open this one up. Oh, so cute. Oh, so this is a super cute embroidery kit. Thou shall not talk to rakes. I love that. So it is a how to get started. It comes with a fun little hoop that you can put your embroidery into. It came with the ribbon colors that they want you to use. And then instructions, of course. And the little canvas as well that you're going to sew on. So that is so fun. Love that which I actually have done a few embroidery like hoops like this in the past. So I have them around in my house. So I'm probably going to do this one and then put it next to the books, which I think will be super fun to display it like that. So that's what it's going to look like. So next we're going to go to page 375. This one is making a lot of shaky, shaky noise. So hopefully everything is okay in there, which we'll find out soon. All right, so let's go to 375. Aw, oh, so this is super cute. So this is actually taking us to the epilogue, which is many, many years, I think like 13, 14 years after Gareth and Hyacinth's the book. And so this is actually with their children. So this is right here. And it is at the very last line of the epilogue. So it is Isabel looked down at the diamonds and then she smiled and put them back. So I'm guessing this is going to be a necklace. So in the book, this is really fun. Gareth and Hyacinth, they were actually like trying to find these things together. Some of his like family secrets and things like that. So I'm guessing this is going to be the necklace. So let's find out. Ooh, so shiny and sparkly and pretty. So it is a necklace, earrings, and a bracelet. So there is that. So shiny and beautiful. It's from Isabella and Co. Luxury Jeweler. And then on the back, it has the fun quote as well, which is which this coordinated with in the book. So that is so pretty. So lastly is book eight on the way to the wedding. And this is Gregory's book. And this one came with two gifts. So it has this box and this little cloth sack as well. All right, so first up, we're gonna go to page 97. So let's see, 97, okay. So this is a conversation between Lucy and Hermione, which of course in the book, Gregory is actually supposed to be like getting together with one lady, but then he becomes interested in the other one. So Lucy and Hermione are talking together and Hermione says, oh dear, you look ghastly, Lucy. Lucy blinked and then Hermione says like, I'm gonna return you to bed and I will summon mother. She'll know what to do. Lucy nodded with relief. Hermione guided her back to her bed chamber, even going as far as to remove Lucy's slippers for her before she lay atop the bed. So I'm assuming this is gonna be slippers. <laughs> we'll find out so let's find out together and yep some super cute slippers they are really cute pink slippers very fuzzy and soft and it says Shh, dearest reader i'm reading so that's really cute oh the pink little fuzzies as well but yeah those are some cute little velvety soft little fuzzy slippers kind of like ballet flat slippers the last gift is on page 327. So we're going to go to that page together. Let's see, 327. All right. So this is between Lucy and Gregory. It says, he reached out and captured her hand in his. She did not pull away. Lucy, he whispered. She closed her eyes. Be with me, he said. Slowly, she shook her head. Please don't. He tugged her closer and pulled the candlestick from her slackening fingers. Be with me, Lucy Abernathy. Be my love. So I'm assuming candlesticks. <laughs> so let's find out together. So we'll open this up together. So it comes like this. And this is a little quote that I just said in the book. And it is showing a candlestick. But it's actually like some tools of taking care of a candlestick. So this is actually super cute. 
also comes with these little gold trimmers that you can trim the wick before you relight. It has the little snuffer as well that you can snuff out the candle, which I love this and actually need one because my other one went missing recently and I've been having to blow out candles, which is the worst. And then this little tool as well, which wish I knew what this was for, but I'm totally blinking right now. So if anybody knows what this tool is for, for candles, let me know. So here is how books five through eight look together. Again, you can see books one through four, like right behind me up here on my shelves. So these pastel colors are gonna look so pretty together. And I'm so glad to have a finished set of this. So thanks so much for watching this video. This was kind of a fun, different video to do of kind of unwrapping the box and the presents together. Hope you enjoyed that. I know that the Once Upon a Book Club, this is actually like what they do with other books as well. Like they have monthly books, I believe that they do, but this was like a special Bridgerton set. But I think that's a really unique and fun idea of reading a book, going to a page, and then when you get there, finding out you have a present that coordinates with it. Like it's just such a fun idea and it's a lot of fun to open and then have gifts that coordinate with some of your books that you've read and loved. But let me know in the comments if you got this box as well, if you've read their Bridgerton books, if you've watched the Netflix adaptation, let me know. I would love to chat about it. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next one.